Hello and welcome back here. In this video, what we're going to be doing is painting this brand new pre-primed six panel door here. And we're going to be using this, this paint right here. It's the uh, Benjamin Moore uh, Advanced Paint, okay? Um, and it's a satin sheen, okay? Now, you don't want to just, you don't want to use this straight on the pre-primed door for a bunch of reasons, okay? One, the paint is going to drag. You're not going to be able to spread it. And, um... It's just going to be a nightmare, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to prime the door first with uh, this primer here, the Roman Pro 999 slash RX335, okay? This is a great primer to use on a absorbent sur surface like, like, like this, okay? This is going to seal the surface, and then, and then when you go to apply the advance, the advance is going to be able to glide on top of this primer versus getting sucked into the surface here. Because if you just try to use the advance on this, it's just going to get so sucked in and it's not going to look good. It's going to take a long time to paint. The sheen is going to be off, okay, because it's going to get sucked into the surface on the first coat. And then when you go to apply the second coat, it's still not good. You're like, you're still going to see the, the, this color peer, peer through. So the uh, key is to seal the surface first with, uh, with uh, this stuff here. So the uh, I'm going to use the uh, roll the uh, set setup right here. Okay, we're going to be using these the Wiz, and this is a four inch roller, and it's a three eighths nap here. Okay, so we're going to load up here. I'm going to load up the end of it too. Okay. And we're just going to get started here. So we're going to start in the corner here. And I have this primer. It's tinted to a white. Okay. And this goes on real easy. And use the brush to get in the corners and to spread out what you just laid down with the roller. Okay, that takes care of that there. We'll come against the uh, hinges here. And you can just see how easy the brush slides, e even on this su super uh, uh, absorbent sur surface of the pre-primed door. So now I'm gonna use the uh, roller here to, uh, to take away the paint and to level it out. And uh, once again, guys, you can see how easy the brush is able just to glide right on top of, of the surface of the door here. And if you're using the advance right on top of this, it wouldn't glide. Okay, so when you're doing this, just look to like the side of it to make sure 
that you've hit all the areas. If you haven't hit an area, it won't be shine, 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 shiny. So if, if, if you see an area, just go back into it, okay? And now uh, these microfiber roll rollers are great because they don't leave a, a heavy nap. They leave like a spray-like fi fi finish to them. What's great too about this primer is your brush do doesn't get worn out from the friction. Okay, if you're just trying to use the advance right on top of this, your uh, your your brush would get worn out because it wouldn't be able to glide right across the surface like you're seeing it here. this panel in here. Okay, so I'm done with the door here. I'm gonna go back and look in the corners here for any drips or where if it pulled up. And then look for just, I'm gonna look to the side to, to see if the sheen is uh, all shiny. If I see an area where it's flat, I'll simply go, go back into it like so. This looks good. Okay, so you can see how fast I was able to uh, spread this primer right here, you using the microfiber roller in an inch and a half bra brush here, and again, this is going to get sucked into the uh, to the uh, factory pr 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 primer, which is basically a flat sheen. Okay, um, so that is the problem. The uh, flat sheen from from the factory is a, is a pain in the butt for a painters to work on on top of. 
because the paint just gets sucked right in. So you definitely want to seal the surface first before you go to, to try to apply your uh, your expensive top coat paint here, light like the advance here. So we'll let this dry out and we'll, and we'll, and we'll be back to apply the uh, top coat. So we'll see you soon. Okay, so we've given the door approximately two hours to dry out here and you can see the sheen that the Roman RX35 leaves. It has done its job in sealing the uh, porous sur sur surface of the flat factory paint. And again, this dries to a uh, residual tack, so it's going to grab the uh, top coat. The top coat's going to bind or stick to it. Hello and welcome back here. We've given the door a, a couple of hours to dry out here and you can see from the footage the sheen that it leaves and, and when I touch it it's uh, sticky because it dries to a, a residual tack which is great when you apply your top coat. Your top coat is going to stick right to it here. So this is the uh, Roman Pro 999 slash RX335 here. And now we're going to be top coating with this stuff right here. This is the uh, Benjamin Moore Advance here. And it's a waterborne interior al al alkaloid paint here. So it's like a hybrid paint. It's it's basically it uh, basically has the characteristics of oil, uh, but it cleans up with a uh, with uh, water. And this dries to a uh, to a hard film here. And it says on it it says uh, it says excellent leveling and extended open time. And what the open time means is it takes a while to dry. But if you ever go to use this straight on top of a uh, of a new door that is pre-primed, this is going to get sucked right into it. So don't ever try to apply this right on top of a pre-primed door without priming it first, because it's you're 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 not going to be able to get far, and this is going to get sucked into the flat primer, and the uniform or the sheen is not going to be uniform, and the coverage is not going to be good. And it's just going to be a nightmare. So always prime the these doors first, and then you're able to glide with all your top coat here. Okay, so I'll put this down here. Again, we're going to be using the uh, microfiber four inch by three eighths nap here, and it's made by Wiz here. Okay, and I pre wet this, and I and I and I and I and I rolled out as much of the water uh, as I could here, okay? Because you don't want a lot of water in here. You spin it out, get rid of all the water so that there's just like like one per percent of water in here. And that makes uh, life easier when you go to load up the roller and when you go to clean out the roller, it should just come right out of here, okay? And the brush I'm going to be using is this brush right here, okay? This is an inch and a half brush, okay? So I have my paint in here and I'm just going to, uh, I have the roller here. I'm going to load up here. And then I'll roll up the side of it here. Okay. So you can see how this looks right here. Okay. And I'm just going to start in the corner here. Okay, so you can see how, how easy that it was for me to spread the paint on, on top of the surface of the primer here. Now we use the brush to get into the corners.
And guys, when I'm using the roller, I'm just applying a little bit of uh, pre about pressure to not uh, get the roller all scrunched down because you want that nap. And the nap isn't he he heavy e e e e either. If you apply too much pressure, then you compress the roller. And uh, you don't want that. Okay, so we'll load back up. That looks good there. And it's just so nice to be able to glide with this paint here because this paint does not glide well. You really have to, uh, unless you're going over like an oil, a you know, previously paint, painted surface that was done in oil, uh, then it'll glide, but if you're going over a flat paint or even a, a low luster, this will this will drag. Okay, and unfortunately, they don't make a extender for it, so you can't use the uh, flow trawl to extend the uh, drying time with this stuff here. So.
take away the brush strokes up here. to the bottom here, blow it up in the middle and work it outward. back and look at my work here because this stuff is known to drip especially in the corners here but again since we're using the roman that drives away a residual tack it grabs the paint okay so it's not the paint is not able to roll around on the surface or disperse on, on the surface here so all my corners look, look good and i'll take a look from like the side of it to check out the sheen the sheen seems like it's a it's a uniform um and again, you have to uh, work fast with this stuff because I can already see that it's already starting to uh, dry out right here in the middle here. But um, so this is just one coat of the uh, of the advanced primer. And again, um, this is like a, a oil based paint and a water based paint in one, but it cleans up without water and it levels out great. Um, but it's going to le level out even great, great, greater with the uh, microfiber ro 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 roller that I just used here. Okay, so we'll uh, let this dry out and, we'll, and I'll do a close up of what I just did and we'll see you guys on the next one. Okay, so I just roll, rolled this out here and it's still wet. Uh, 